we have been kidnapped by the kid herself. Princess Iris just took Kazuma into the portal and we're into the royal palace because she's so probably bored and wants to hear the heroic tales. Heroic tales of Kazuma, the hero, the Yusha that's been taken out. All these different demon lord generals and such. And yes, we haven't kind of doing that, you know, with our team. Now, the rest of the girls are just still held back. I'm not sure what's going to happen with them. In last episode, I think Darkness came in clutch, right? Darkness was the one that was very hesitant in sending Kazuma over to the palace. Because if we act wrong, you know... There just can be consequences, right? The royals are very strict, and at least one of the bodyguards, or at least the girl that was, you know, the doing the speaking for Princess Cyrus, they were very strict. But despite that, when they started talking shit about Cosma, Darkness fucking stepped in, slapped the princess, and then told her, he's a good guy. And that's how we know Darkness is not just Opai. She is Opai that is also a good person. What the fuck was Aqua doing the entire time? Fucking drinking, bro. Trash goddess. Anyways, we're into the royal palace. I wonder what kind of fun shenanigans that's going to happen as we get too close. Sorry, as we get to become Princess Iris's Onichan. Let's begin today's episode. Apart from the towel, uh, w w was this episode six? Uh, it was a succubus episode. Uh, season one. Which, which, which episode? Actually, Darkness is always naked, so I don't know. I don't think you should tell Iris about this. <laughs> Why is she so interested? <laughs> Loki, I, I think she's right. Like, should you tell a kid about this edgy story? I don't know. Oh. Oh. No more Ojo Sama. We get privileges. It really shouldn't be, right? Kids shouldn't listen to this. Oh, look how sad Iris is now. I mean, we got a lot of other stories, right? Okay. Why does every story have to do with darkness getting naked and losing a bet? A re-education for this bright little girl. Okay. <laughs> This is a fucking huge castle! Oh my god. Yeah, who, who, what's your name? <laughs> who are you? Iris looks very cute here. Look behind. Who are you, Onesa? Oh, Rain! Oh, hey. Welcome as a guest by being physically taken here. What about Kazuma? It's so appealing to Iris. His heroic tales, his interesting persona. So, what you whispering? Iris looks sad. Oh. Oh, we got a stage here. Come on. So, her entire thing was like, okay, if darkness is having so much fun. Well, the fun that she's having comes off of being humiliated because she's an M. Not that we could ever do that to Iris, but regardless, she's having so much fun. It's like, oh, being with Cosma must be fun. It's, it's cute. I'll stay here a couple days. <laughs> Well, after a couple days, because, like, she hasn't called him Onichan or Onisama just yet. In the trailer, she does. And at that point, can we leave her? Are we just going to stay at this place because we, we're just stuck? Like, what? Oh, other stories, other stories. What the fuck do you know about the culture festival, Kazuma? Do you probably didn't even participate those in Japan. Can't she just do that? Oh. Yo, the guild receptionist at our place of our town would always say, Emergency alert! Emergency alert! To the front gates! Constant attack by demon lord threats? That ain't Megumi. Are we gonna meet new generals? Who is it? Stealth raid. So there's other adventurers in this place. And there's also a guild, huh? I feel like this is another copy-paste isekai map. But it's got like... A star-like structure here, huh? It's very dark, you can't really see it, but it's got some kind of like star-like structure. So the castle is in the middle, and a lot of different people also live around this place. There's also a guild. I want to see a guild receptionist. <laughs> the other, you know, the, the Isuka characters, like the Baldi that created the fucking, what's it called? The, the, the robots and shit. Bro, you go in there and fucking save this world. You're a hero too. No, 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 we can't leave just yet. We just got here. Well, he himself probably alone can't, but I'm sure he can figure something out. Are they worried? I don't know. Aqua's probably still drunk. 
Darkness and Megumin, maybe? Of course. Oni-sama. I think he likes the Oni-sama. He likes being called Big Brother. This is some kind of weird fantasy he has to have a young girl call him Big Brother. So he's going to stick around now. <laughs> no, 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 the other part. Oni, Oni. You fucking freak. <laughs> Onisama. Onisama! <laughs> Come on, like Miyuki does to, you know, Tatsuya in Mahoka. Oh! <laughs> so my guess was completely opposite of what actually happens. I thought that, you know, at some point she's gonna start calling it Onisama or Onichan, and then Kazuma's gonna be like, shit, I can't go back anymore or something. But here it's more like. Shit, I was about to leave, and then she's like, "All right, can I call it?" Onichan is like, "Yep, I'm fucking staying. I'm in it for the long term. Fuck the girls back home." Not that kind of show, right? We're not doing some incestual shit, right? What, what the fuck are you doing, Cosmo? Who's on the other side of the bed? Oh Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! The virus is there. What the fuck is this thing, bro? This is the most disgusting, grotesque, fucking ain't. Is it a baby? Some kind of fat fucking baby? What is this thing? Looks like a middle-aged man or a baby in one. My servants, where are they? <laughs> Sebastian. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't even know. Did somebody pull it, Sebastian? <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Hi, Mel. Mary, uh, my name's not Mary. <laughs> you can make the. <laughs> this gotta be sexual harassment. Just staring down this maid while he fucking drinks the morning coffee in bed and she's making the bed. There's something, you know, abusive about this. Oh, Tony. Tony. Oh! <laughs> I think this is like a Japanese thing, right? Because like the Japanese culture, I think um, being heard like a big brother is like a really... I don't know. Every culture has their own different thing. For example, in, in Korea, uh, there's a term, oppa, right? Oppa is basically a girl referring to someone that's like older and a male. And sometimes you can say that in like a sibling relationship, but most of the times it's more like akin to like daddy in North American culture, like oppa, right? Your, your uh, relationship, your significant other, right? And guys like hearing that, you know, in North American culture, girls call the older guy daddy. In Japan, it's Oni-chan, yep, yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why you look like a shoujo character? Did he actually just flash a kid? D I don't know if he actually flashed her with the Excalibur or not. I think that the implication is yes, but we have no confirmation and I don't want to know. You are a pedo neat, come on now. <laughs> this runs away. <laughs> Only time privilege is gone? Oh, rain. Okay. Having fun? <laughs> Bro's fucking living it up, getting all the royal sweets and desserts. Yeah, she's always, you know, had to be quiet and reserved, and maybe never got to do what she wanted. Make this kid cry after crushing her in this fucking children's game. What are they playing? Chess? Alright. Better than Ayana Koji? Sakai Anagi Arisu? I'm gonna assume Kazuma lost. <laughs> Probably lost like 50 matches in a row and every time it was like, one more, one more. You ever friend? You ever have a friend when you're playing a game against each other, some kind of PvP game, some kind of game where you, you know, one there's a winner and a loser and they keep losing and they're, they're like, oh, another one, another one, another, to run it down mid. And as soon as they get that one dub because you felt bad and you're going to give the game to them, they're like, ha ha ha, I fucking knew it, oh my god. And then they just leave. It's like, what? I won 49 times, you won once because I let you and you're fucking happy about this. Alright, whatever. 
There it is. He got it. How long did it take? See, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. He wins one game out of a hundred. He talks like that. Foreshadowing? Foreshadowing? Oh, it's, it's our girl. Uh, should we introduce her to some of the friends we have back at home? I think that Liz wants to, you know, show up. I think Liz would enjoy, you know, more desserts here. Cosma uh, uh, could be a royal guard, maybe? <sighs> what the fuck is this Ryu scene? Does he wake up like this every morning here? It's a Ryu scene, the same soundtrack, the same fucking scene, brother, our pit. Morning coffee, please. <laughs> this thing again! This fucking repugnant middle-aged man baby hybrid angel mix. Sebastian. It's Heidel. My morning coffee, please. Sure, Heimel. Mary, where's Mary? Make the bed for me. It's been a fucking week where he does the same fucking thing and Sebastian's been like, are you fucking kidding me? One goddamn week and you still call me Sebastian. I'm fucking Heidel. No, what the fuck are these feet? No, 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 that's Konosuba. Sorry, that's Kazuma. Stop harassing Mary! She doesn't get paid enough for this. Is this the queen? She looks like Iris. But she's older. Is this the queen? Mom? It's darkness. I couldn't tell. I just saw her face in a different hairstyle. Usually she's in her armor, right? I couldn't tell. I thought it could have been Iris' mom or something. It's a Latino. My bad. And uh, flash the worm. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> With their scent on them. We're so humiliated. Yo, the roles has changed. The M has become the S and the S has become the M. Yeah, why are you here? Ah, I think Megumi's the one that was, you know, missing him the most. Hey, can we have some of these girls show up in our place too? Are they allowed to live here? Nah, they can't take Cosmo back. He is a hero, right? I want to stay here. <laughs> he looks so bad right now, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Four separate Cosmas. I didn't know he has spiritual magic. Okay, I'm gonna get one last banquet. <laughs> mm. Alright, fancy banquet. <laughs> what the fuck is that melon? Why is it moving like that? Megumi is just hamming down fucking everything right now. What the fuck is that melon, though? All natural wild melon with ham. It is really fresh. It's still moving. That sounds actually pretty good. What the fuck? Royal Riz. Oh, oh, flower that only blooms by moonlight once a century pales in comparison to your beauty, my lady. <laughs> May I sniff your toes? Oh, fuck is this? <laughs> I mean, the father already gave us our best things, right? You are a this motherfucker is from the trial, right? He's from season two, remember? And the trial, and this is the guy that we beat fair and square. And then there was some kind of payment, right? We, I, he, Darkness had to go over to his place, and it was some weird shit that they were doing. Right? What happened at the end? Did we just leave him? Did he get some kind of divine retribution? I forget how his arc kind of ended, because his son? His son did something? Did we, like, fucking explode his fucking castle? Offering. Offering? What do, you, what do you mean his son? I don't remember that. Sorry, I forgot these details. It's been a while. But he took away Darkness as part of the deal. And he was, like, basically putting Darkness in this different, like, you know, clothing, right? 
Ah, the goal was for her to marry his son. Gotcha. And the son just said no? Okay, 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 okay. Right, right, right. and then, right. Dude, this is an insane fit. Like, what the fuck is bro wearing? This is crazy. Like, all the other royals look pretty much like royals, but like, what is bro fucking wearing? Like, look at those shorts. This drip is like, I don't know if it's like, we're such peasants that we can't understand the beauty of royal drip, but like, those pants, those shorts are crazy. Alderp, my son. We don't say curse. No, no, no. Graham Mitsurugi sword is a cursed sword. It's different. His son is not Mitsurugi. Kazuma, Kazuma's taking so much more down. Jat? Have we seen Jat? <laughs> <laughs> Who could be better than Justice? Looks down. Looks like Kazuma. Well, hello, Kazuma does. Wait. Is it actually Justice's Iris' big bro? That implies that I don't want to believe it then, that Alderp is somehow Iris's. That doesn't make sense. Alderp is. the father of. No, 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 no. This guy is Iris' dad, and his son is Justice, the first prince? The hair color makes sense. I don't wanna fucking... It's... Uh, you guys are just giving me so much different inputs right now. We're talking about Justice right now. The first prince, Justice, right? Justice is his son. He's currently wielding, right? The first prince. Now, there can be many different princes, right? It doesn't have to be like a royal prince. I think it's different, right? Or... I, I'm getting confused. I'm getting fucking confused right now. That's Elder for you, right? He is currently... Is it his son? The son was from back in season 2 that already got rejected. Not rejected. He said no to darkness. And now he's shipping Justice with a separate first prince who is not his son with darkness is what I think is going on. Yes, yes. That's crazy. Glazing someone else and trying to make a ship like that. What, what, what does Alder get out of this? Kazuma. Mohawk man. Step in, bro. Here we go. Oh, sama Watch my back, too. Wait, wait, wait. We did the same thing pose on the episode where we went to Lala Tina's place, remember? I remember because her titties were just... While we were doing this, I remember this. I think you were right. I, I think that you maybe have helped darkness there. <laughs> Crying. Ego killer. <laughs> Bro thinks he's the main character, but he is. Aqua's doing her fucking party trick. Oh boy, what kind of fucking party trick is he gonna do? Fucking make some water out of a fan. Gonna take it, make it into wine. Giant toad? Like a street merchant performer type. Did she actually summon a toad? I think she got swallowed there. Okay, so that guard girl's name is Claire. You're fun. Treats her like an equal. Everything! You treat her like an equal, not a princess! She's cute little sister though. Little sister, that's it. <laughs> really? Yeah, she enjoys every day of being humiliated. Yes, she does. That's sad though. Join our party. You can't though. Can you? Are we about to expand our party? Our party has been set in stone since season one from the right off the get-go, right? It's been Negumin, Aqua, Darkness, and Kazuma. And yes, Union's around sometimes, but not really. Liz is around sometimes, but not really. 
if Iris becomes an adventure and actually joins the party in season three, and she has potential and magic and other talents, hold the fuck up. Some kind of support magician? Some kind of like priest? Some kind of supporting healer? Yeah? Yes! Shit. What if we just like teach her the ways of steel and she's gonna steal panties with us, bro? Oh. Maybe Iris wants to be a thief, man, because it's so completely different from like a royal princess. What? It's like a Robin Hood. They take money out from rich people and gives to the heiress church. Is there some kind of like connection here? This is not what cosmo has been doing, right? I don't think he's ever done this. There's a thief that's been doing Robin Hood shit. Chris is... Chris is a thief. You're right. Chris is a thief. But I've never seen her... in action. Maybe? Maybe? Whoa, 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 what is it? I'm not following. Yeah. We're gonna catch him and that's an excuse to stick around? Okay. We're gonna catch Robin Hood and that gives us an excuse to stick around is his idea? Seedy looking fellow. A thief is gonna catch a thief. Also, I've been noticing this guy in the left here. This hair is fucking crazy. Bro has just a green broom. As his hair. Just to stick around with Iris. That guy has a fucking unibrow. Yo, some of the nobles behind the scenes, their designs are fucking crazy, bro. Look at the unibrow. Oh, it's the Dustiness Glazers. These are the motherfuckers that all got, you know, bald! Bald! These are the motherfuckers that the noble thief pretty much, you know, took their money, right? And they're like, oh, fucking finally, someone's gonna catch the thief for us, right? 100% these are the shitty nobles. <laughs> Eventually catch this guy. We gotta catch Chris? <laughs> Rest easy, what do you mean? I these fucking girls are just here for the free food. Hmm. Wait. Wait, that was not part of the deal? Wait! Are we gonna be planted into different noble places' houses? To get act as baits? This guy's house! We have to stay at Alder Place! Motherfucker, dude! Yo! He did his renovations, bro. Holy shit. After the destroyer destroyed his... Well, we ported that there, right? His mansion, bro. Holy fuck. The renovation's crazy. <laughs> Classic Konosuba, where all our wishes and hopes and dreams comes true in a roundabout way, just like a monkey's paw, where you're like, oh, I have a fucking good idea. We're gonna cast a noble thief. That means I get to stay around here and hang around with Princess Iris and fuck around more, right? Nope. You're sent to fucking Alder Place. Have fun, bro. Oh my fucking god. Some of the other important plot related details is the fact that last season, Alderp's son basically said no to darkness and that's been done but he's now basically rooting for Jatius, the prince of this you know iris is our older brother right and apparently Jatius is like a sacred sword user some big giga chat the champion that'd be pretty interesting to see you know what he's actually like maybe there's a plot twist maybe he is the royal thief i don't fucking know maybe iris is the noble thief i don't fucking know but this is getting pretty interesting today's episode was very fun you got kidnapped by the kid herself and it's wholesome there's no, like, lolicon service, right? That's actually really nice. We're just kind of chilling. We got Kazuma fan service, and he's just having the, the time of his life in the sort of royal palace and treating Iris like an equal. There's some wholesome moments where she's like, oh, you know, no one, you know, allows me to have fun like this, but you're the only one. It's like, oh, Nisama, right? And then that's pretty much it. Now we're stationed at Alder's place, and the noble thief's gonna come, and supposedly we're supposed to catch them, but can we actually do it? Only one way to find out. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.